Well, welcome back. A little experimental. I, I, I talked so much about how handheld first production camera movement works so much better than how I demo it with my gimbal kind of uh, orbiting around me. It just doesn't show the parallax, but here we are. And I'm not quite right. I'm trying to do this uh, arm extended uh, in my living room, but this is an example of, of uh, how uh, handheld works. This is one of the gauze and splats. Um, I'm forgetting whether I made this or whether I took this off their uh, website and, and converted it. Uh, it's not perfect. Again, I needed to uh, adjust this a little bit. Um, but what, what a difference. I mean, you can really, if I had uh, a lot of green screen, you know, I could, I could actually walk around and, and we could go into the hallway uh, that way. Um, I, I want to show you a, a setup on a slider, a couple of shots that are a little more cinematic, just to kind of show you how cool this does look when you are uh, doing some kind of handheld work. And that's how I prefer to work in Jet Set, particularly with, with 3D environments like uh, Gauze and Splats, where we have some parallax. Let me go to a quick voiceover. To be clear, shooting handheld and shooting a selfie video are two quite different techniques. But I figured at least a selfie shot would demonstrate the next level virtual production shots we can achieve on the pro version of Jet Set. So to demonstrate what handheld as well as more cinematic shots look like when using Jet Set with the new gauze and splats, I did a setup on my green screen using an 18 inch high stone statue in a coffee cup. Both of the gauze and splat environments were created in marble. I also filmed some cinematic slider shots to demonstrate the parallax that gauze and splats offer. The handheld perspective really shows off what filming in a 3D environment can achieve in terms of added realism and production value, and the slider smooths out the cinematography as the slider moves across the scene in a more cinematic fashion, and the parallax in the 3D gauze and splats becomes much more apparent. Remember that these backdrops began as 2D images, and these images were used to prompt marble to create the 3D splats. The level of realism in many of the marble splats is really incredible, and it's just a matter of time before that realism and that fidelity gets even better. Using marble, we can create our own 3D backgrounds independently. This is next level virtual production with Jet Set Pro. And here we are, we're back. We're back in this sort of grungy room, trying to get the right perspective. Um, I have to reset my origin, but it's a little kind of a cool little grungy location. I, I'm sure I've added some appropriate music and just a slight amount of reverb. Um, but now we're talking, now we're talking Birch production in a 3D environment. Uh, I would seriously consider moving to Pro. If this is something that excites you, you can build these on your own and you can, uh, and or if you're a teacher, have your students build them and then import them and in minutes, literally in minutes, you're now in a very kind of cool looking uh, three-dimensional environment. Um, so awesome. As always, thank you. Headed to Wales. I'll try to do one more episode before I hop on that plane in a few days to Wales where I'm doing virtual production all winter. Thank you as always for following, for following and please subscribe. Take care. We'll see you.